January 7, Tuesday, Memorial of St. Raymond of Inyaport, Priest. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. When Jesus embarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. By now, it was already late. And his disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already very late. Dismiss them so that they can go to the surrounding farms and villages and buy themselves something to eat. He said to them in reply, Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, are we to buy 200 days' wages worth of food and give it to them to eat? He asked them, How many loaves do you have? Go and see. And when they had found out, they said, Five loaves and two fish. So he gave orders to have them sit down in groups on the green grass. The people took their places in rows by hundreds and by fifties. Then, taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he said a blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to his disciples to set before the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up twelve weaker baskets full of fragments, and what was left of the fish. Those who ate of the loaves were five thousand men. The Gospel of the Lord Dismiss them. The disciples asked their master, Jesus, to do this. They find themselves helpless before a crowd, hungry for the word of God, and now hungry for bodily food. For the disciples, Jesus should stop preaching and disperse the crowd. Jesus does not buy their suggestion. Instead, he commands, Give them some food yourselves. It is not right that his disciples show no compassion for the people when the heart of Jesus has been moved with pity to teach them. He cannot afford to send them away just like that. The disciples have to be creative and keep people's interest in Jesus. Like the disciples, we often want to dismiss people after making them listen to us. We are not consistent in showing concern for them. We must be prepared to give them a good impression so that they will come again to listen to our message. We too can make miracles. If we are creative enough and have compassion, we will multiply not only bread and fish, but also disciples for Christ who will keep coming back to Him. Thank you.